evil creature of the night, killer of mouse and other vermins. Ha! I got you! Ha ha! You can't flee away from me! You can't! <laughs>
but that happens automatically after you install the product. And this is actually located, if anyone wants to know, in the Eclipse, in your Eclipse installation folder, and then Arduino plugin. If you delete this folder, next time you start the plugin, it will automatically recreate the folder and automatically download the Arduino AVR and the standard libraries again for you. The installation is done in the Eclipse folder, which means that it's not workspace dependent. So even if you create a new workspace in Eclipse, it will not have to, not have to download the new standard libraries and the Arduino AVR. That's it. Let's look at the screen. So to demonstrate the, simple, the single install, we have to, of course, install the product. Because if we install the plugin, there's still Eclipse you have to install, and you have to install uh, the plugin into Eclipse. Uh, as V3 is not yet present, we'll have to install the nightly, uh, which is this one. I uh, already have downloaded that one. On my Windows 10 system, I have this problem. I don't know what's wrong here, but uh, there's a very easy workaround, so I don't care uh, about that 7-zip extract here. 7-zip extract here. So, that's the whole installation. Start Eclipse Arduino ED. And as you can see, it's Toddler and Trio. I want to thank Wing Myungman, Wing Myungman from, for the nice graphics and other support he's giving the community. So, as soon as it started up, you get a dialog box and he's telling you what he's doing. Uh, behind the dialog box there is also the other information about this specific release and other information that can be handy. Yeah. I also noticed that some people never really realize there is also an Arduino section in the menu which you can use and which contains basically the same commands as uh, the other ones. As long as this is not finished, you cannot create a new sketch because he knows he's working. If you download additional hardware, you can see here finishing the installation. If you, if you download additional hardware, I can't check whether all the hardware is already downloaded because it's different threads and stuff like that. It's just too difficult. And instead of forcing you to wait, as they do in the Arduino EDA, I just tell you to look out for information about it being ready. So it's ready now, so we can create a new test, create a new sketch. There's no boards, there's only one board, so there's no board to select, so there's no board shown. Uh, there's a Uno connected on my COM4 port, I'll just select the sample sketch. So you can see here, there has been a couple of libraries installed. I'll show you how to install other libraries. Uh, go for the blink, finish. And we select upload, oh, built before upload. And here you see he's building. And trying to upload, which works. So, as you can see, there is only one thing to download and unpack, and you can run the plugin. Now, 
if you want other boards Here is, uh, for instance, other boards. Let's add uh, this one. The libraries. You can see here the libraries which are known. And you can pick for any of these a version you would like to have. Uh, for instance, uh, not, not good. you can also remove them. So now he's going to remove uh, that one library and he's going to install the ESP stuff. Now notice that he's running now here. If we create a sketch now, it's pretty much sure that it won't work. He's done. Now we create a new sketch. Test two. We, you notice we can click finish now, which means that he will make a uh, Arduino Uno uh, board con come for with the blink example. But we don't want a Uno. We want the ESP board. We will take this one here. Uh, I can't upload, so I can't test that. Uh, see that the link is still selected here. We have to unselect it if you want something else. I propose to take the far much better blink without delay. Finish. So we select two. And we built. As you can see, he's building without any problems. So that's it, building and uploading with one single install. Thank you.